Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 2. In the last part, we trained up some Digimon to get to max level -age, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one in particular. This is what I did. And we got a Dramojamon, so now it's time for us to DNA Digivolve. DNA Digivolve, go! Alright, so I would like to DNA Digivolve. Uh, Dramojamon? Yes, with Unimon. So since he's level 19 and he is 16, that will be 3 down here because it's 16 divided by 5 plus that. So we get 22 as the chance of what this Digimon will Digivolve into, or its max level will be. And we're going to get a Gabumon, which is like the first Digimon that we got in Digimon World 1. So we have come full circle. And we are going to name him Gabumon. Okay. So that's all we needed to do there. Um, we now fix our Digiline real quick. Oh yeah, he goes straight into the server. Digimon server. Uh, into the Digiweedle you go, Gabumon. Alright, so... Hmm... Um, we need to get him up a little bit more so that he can at least be on par with uh, Devilmon. So let's see, level 1 compared to... Well, I didn't even need to look at him, but comparing it to Devilmon. 16. Yeah, we need to do a little bit more training. So let's go outside real quick. And we're going to go... I found out that fighting the weaker Digimon on... A certain domain is better than going to the other domain that I was going to. I'm forgetting the names. I always forget the names in between episodes. So, I was going to modem domain. And I found out that it's just better to just go to disc and fight the weaker Digimon on the floors here. Instead of having to go to the stronger ones on the other domains. That's just what I have seem to have figured out. And I'm sure many other people do. If you fight, like, all the battles in the game, you probably will get leveled up way faster than I am. But since I skipped some for the sake of saving time, is this going to be a... Nope. Alright. How about this? Nope. Alright. I'm always wary of traps. Wary of traps, indeed. So we'll probably just zoom through this real quick. Uh, Gabumon will not do very much. Ah, I should have guarded. I should have guarded. Whatever. It will work out. Oh, damn. Is that our first triple digit hit? I think it is. That is our first triple digit hit, I believe. It is a landmark! So see, this is pretty sad. Those guys are slower than our level 1. And he's probably just like... Well, he's probably like nothing because he's just a worm, and worms don't really have thoughts, so they only act on instinct. So, we're gonna go ahead and attack with him. Guard with the other two. Good thing about Gabumon being this low level and fighting all these guys is, like I said before, he will just skyrocket on the levels. He'll be leveling up pretty much every battle until, what, level 7? In which case, it'll be every two battles until, like, level 9, 10. We'll just worry about getting him his new moves, and then we'll put him in the team with uh, Devimon and all them. Uh, let's see what these are. Okay, so Blue Bat Blaster sucks, and these two are good. I'm not even going to worry about Blue Blaster. Blue Blaster sucks. Sucks so bad. Uh, generally, I don't, I, I don't remember if I ever said this at the beginning, but generally the MP cost of the move is how much damage it does. If it doesn't have a special effect. If it has a special effect, that usually affects the cost a little bit. Or a lot, depending on what move it is. 
If it hits everybody, it uses the most MP, or if it's a healing move, I tend to remember that the healing moves cost a lot of MP as well. Alright, same thing as before. And... Yeah. So, Gabumon, are you gonna go faster than Gazumon this time? Uh... I'm still keeping in these battles, because it's kind of training that everybody would do. If I really wanted to, I could have just cut out everything and just got back with a team that would have been ready for Disc Domain. But, you know, I will show you the evolution of my Digimon. I didn't show you Gabumon going from level 1 that is faster than these sucky ass level 4s. Uh, to him being a champion, that is, you know, the champion of goodness. He almost one-hitted that Gazimon. He almost one-hitted that Gazimon. That's just sad, Gazimon. That's just sad. I mean, he is, I guess he is strong against you and everything, but... Whatever. Level up again? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if if uh, you hit level up twice, like you obviously can't level up twice in one battle, but if you go to the level up screen and you just did that, your next level will be zero, so. It keeps track of the experience you need, it just doesn't uh, double up on that. Like, a lot of RPGs do that, actually. And this is no different. There's one more floor up here, I think. Nope. Guess not. So let's just go... That's a dead end. So let's just go this way. Gotta go down anyway. I could see you actually playing the entire... I think I actually did at one point play the entire game with the map like this. Because it doesn't... It's not like it's that much in the way, but I do prefer the mini-map over the mega-map. Alright, this will give us... This was my bread and butter for experience when I was training up Dromojimon. Is this floor with all these Betamon. And I think the next floor have all these Betamon too. Also, the battles with... Um, just in case he doesn't die. The battles with Woodmon and Vegemon are also really easy and really good experience if you're just wanting to fight them over and over and over again. That does require leaving and coming back. Alright, that killed him in one hit. No problem, then. Gabumon misses. Whiff! Which is good because he guarded Sayakumon did. And we'll just uh, do this and pwn him. Ah, he's gonna guard, so he's gonna survive this. Sadly. See how much damage that we can, uh, how low we can get him to while he's guarding. This will be interesting. Dang, we almost owned him. I think Gabumon can take him out fully by himself now. Oh, he's gonna guard again. Probably not then. I don't know, it's, it's close. It'll be close. I believe nothing. Oh, yeah, we killed him. Alright. Level up again, level up again, level up, level up again, level up again, level up, level up again. Uh, gotta hurry up and get to some good battles so we can get some of that uh, awesome music, if you know what I mean. I'm sure you know which ones I mean. Dat music, as I call it. So yeah, this is another one of those floors. I'm pretty sure I stocked up on Magnetic Missile 2s after I was finished training Dromojimon. I guess we'll see after this battle. Which I am again going to keep it in. Because I don't want to cut it out. A 
Tomamon, you die. You die. Oh no. Dang it. I hate it when one of those times when you press the wrong button and you just realize that you press the wrong button immediately. That was one of those times. Because now Gabumon's gonna whiff. He is gonna whiff indeed. So, while we got some spare time to talk about, while I just basically grind, this is basically what I'm doing, I'm just not even gonna worry about that. While we got time to talk, I will be talking about my recording schedule recently. I have not been able to record regularly as I would have liked, but I'm starting to get into a time when I can actually record in blocks again, and then I'll, we'll just have to upload them one at a time. I, I've been decent recently. I've, I think I've had uh, one time it was three days in between when I could upload something, uh, but that's not that bad. I think I'm going to try to have a big block of Digimon World tomorrow because I have like four episodes of Banjo Tooie already recorded. Because I found out something that I did really stupid during that uh, during that playthrough that I just cannot believe I did. So I was in a er, mood, one of those moods, to go and keep playing it because I had to fix what I had fucked up. Oh, I thought I was further away. Well, alright, cool. We do have midnight missiles. But yeah, I'm going to record, or at least try to record, a big block of Digimon World 2 as well, so I can be back on an everyday schedule. Alright, this is the battle I was talking about. Uh, I'm pretty sure darkness is not his specialty. Alright. It's uh, nature that is his specialty, obviously, because he's a fucking stump. Uh, but yes, I will try to get a big block of Digimon World recorded so I can have videos for you guys because they're obviously my most popular videos and they are definitely more fun. Well, I wouldn't say they're more fun to make than all my other videos, but I like RPGs and that's just my typical thing of playing. When I'm not actually recording and I don't feel like recording or there's noise around me and I can't really record when there's a lot of noise so I'm usually stuck recording at night or early in the morning but when I can't do that I'm playing other RPGs and since I like RPGs so much this is the Digimon World 2 is just really is a joy for me to be able to let's play it's just sad that I'm not able to get it out as much What even happened? Did I miss with somebody? I had to have missed with somebody. Uh, he's gonna lunch twig. Hopefully. Hopefully Goblin can take him out, even after he lunch twigs. Boom. You are dead, Vegemon. Mm, I think we can take him out. Gabumon, show him who's boss. Ah, oh, what the... Gabumon. Gabumon. That's okay. Metal Greymon, show him how it's done. Show him how it's done, Metal Greymon. Well, fucking hell. A stump is faster than you, Metal Greymon. Ah. <sighs> You're about as fast as a stump. And I guess apparently a stump is... Well, it does have legs, to be fair. It does have legs. Uh. Yeah, Mega Dramon leveled up. Two level 24. Oh, shit. Metal Greymon's probably getting close to maxing out. Eh, that's not fun. I don't like playing with a Digimon that's maxed. I like being able to get the experience in the level up. But DNA Digivolving him. What would I DNA Digivolving with? It would be I'd have to go collect another vaccine. 
because I want to stick with the one virus, one vaccine, one data thing we have going on. Yeah, we, we'd probably find some kind of vaccine. Oh, I would do it with Anjumon. Yeah. I think I'd do it with an Anjumon. I don't know what I would get. Oh, what do we have here? Is it a rare mon? Luckily, I somebody pointed out in the comments and reminded me of a nice trick that you can use with Ramon, which we don't have to do because we didn't get him. So we'll just fuck up Mushroomon, Numamon, and Devidramon. This is such an easy team now. Even the Raremon's easy if I was going to show you something. Oh, easy way to have to take them out. Aw, oh, you survived. Attack Metal Greymon! You better take out a freaking mushroom. I mean... Ah. Uh, Metal Greymon is getting shown up by plants all day today. First, he's slower than a stump, and now he can't beat a mushroom. The hell, man. It's wrong with you, boy. Gabumon will clean up your mess. Oh, Greymon. He's level 5 and he's t cleaning up your messes. <sighs> I guess Metal Greymon is kind of like a senior citizen to him and everything. So he's all like, of course he's cleaning up my messes. I'm fucking old. I'm an old dinosaur with a prosthetic left arm. Uh, Grandpa Greymon. Crimson Day. I don't know, I just, I like saying that. Crimson Day. Alright, you're dead. Now, Gabumon, finish off the. Damn it. This is no time for a party, Numamon. This is uh, Gabumon. Gabumon ha must have terrible accuracy or something. He misses whenever you need him. Maybe he just has anxiety. He has like uh, performance anxiety. Yeah, that's probably it. Fist is rock. With a rock fist. Rock fist. All right, we win. Level 7. Getting up there really quick. Have we gotten out of the zeros? I, I'm, I'm sure we're out of the zeros by now. We're not. That is good, actually. Oh! Brilliant. What was that? Energy bug? Yeah, not too bad. We're not going to be going through the entire floor. Energy bugs are not that bad if you're not going to a large floor or a floor that you know you're not going to end. Is this a Ramon? Uh, yes. So we'll be able to show the Raremon trick thingy, even though it's not really a trick, it's just a property of techniques in general. So I don't know why this skipped my mind before, but I'm going to just attack him all out with not everybody. I don't, this won't kill them, but it will confuse Mr. Mask face thingy, Megadramon. I know his name is Megadramon. I was trying to come up with a clever nickname for him, and then I obviously failed. Crimson Day. Oh, wrong move. My bad. My bad. Boom. I'm dead. So he was gonna friendly fire him, that asshole. And Numon will use party time as usual. My god, his teeth are terrifyingly big. I just not, I don't even know why I've never realized that before. Anyway, so the thing is, when you're confused and you guard, you will still attack. If you battle, you will attack and, you know, attack with a random move and one of your friends. But if you interrupt, 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and fuck Numamon up. Oh my god, I did no damage to Sukaimon. So, kill Numamon! And... Gabumon kill Numamon? But when you interrupt, confusion does not take effect over interrupts. So... That is how you get around confusion. I'm pretty sure I rem I knew about that. I just did not think about it. I haven't played long enough to remember. And somebody was nice enough to point it out in the comments. So, thanks person who pointed that out. Here's a death on Numamon. On me. Death on Numamon on me. Yeah, whatever. We'll go with that. So in the next part, we'll continue our training with Gabumon. Um, pretty sure I'm just gonna go ahead and keep training him up to uh, Digivolving, and then we'll meet back in the Digivolving place, and that will be it. So until then, I'll see you next time.